I just got back from the farmer's market and I figured I would tell you, show you rather, what I bought. started you know it's like it's that time of year where you don't know if you should be wearing layers or not or you know you can like the weather is like 80 degrees in the morning and then like 55 in the afternoon so I always end up like wearing too much and so I have I have like some layers on here um, you know it reminds me of like that show Big Bang Theory where everybody, those guys, like they wear all these layers. I'm thinking, hey, aren't these guys in Southern California? Oh, they shouldn't be um, <laughs> maybe wearing so many clothes. Uh, but it's funny because that reminds me. Um, I've been told, of, somebody commented, she said, I looked like Amy from Big Bang Theory. I'm not sure about that. Maybe with my glasses on. Okay, so this is a little more comfortable. So let me get, let me get my bags and show you what I bought, I spent like $50 or cl close to $50, I think it was like $48 I spent and I had to get out of there because I was just going to spend too much. Luckily, um, it was one of the last few weeks that the farmer's market was going to be, um, you know, in operation, I guess, because maybe their harvests finish up or something, but they, they just, they close down for the season. So, all right, let me get my stuff here. Let me um, just fix this camera here so that I've got a table over here I can put the stuff on as I take them out of the bag. So, okay, I think that'll work. Okay, so let me get the bags, guys. All right, two bags of stuff here. And it's mostly fabric. There's some things I didn't even um, have them put in plastic for me, oh, you know. I, I'm not trying to say anything about plastic. I am trying to reduce my use of those sing the single-use plastics, but um, sometimes it's not as easy when you're shopping. Okay, um, let me start with this bag right here. Okay, so this does have plastic on it, but these are some really nice green peppers right here. And there's two tomatoes in there. And the bag actually came like this. This was $6 for the bag. And uh, it was towards the time of day when they start to reduce the price on the items. And not, not, every, not every seller does that. But this person sold. So I got two small tomatoes and four green bell peppers. Okay, next I have, this is apples. I've got a lot of apples here. And nice thing is it doesn't really have that waxy coating which the, the stores tend to put on it. So I've got this type of apple. I don't even know what kind of apples they are, guys. So I got like half a bag full of apples. Let's see here. I've got two kinds. So I've got, let me see how many I have of this kind. I've got one, two, three. Just so many of them. I've got three, four, five, six, seven. And then I've got four of these kinds of apples. Some of them are a little bruised up, but you know, the, the beauty about getting produce from this, the, the farmer's market is sometimes it's like, um, they're kind of slightly off looking. Like you know they're like naturally produced because they're kind of just a little different looking. This one's kind of awkwardly shaped, so. I've got four, four of those. So I've got like, I've got 12 apples, guys. I'm sorry, they're like all loose so I can't take them all out. Now, in this bag here, I've got turmeric. So sometimes um, I buy turmeric in bulk. Sometimes I go to Whole Foods and sometimes I go to the farmer's market and they seem to, to both use this type of container. I gotta tell you, the, the entire way home, I was afraid that the turmeric was like gonna like come out of this lid, like the lid was gonna pop open in the bag. And this seller didn't have plastic bags, but I was afraid it was gonna open and you know how much turmeric stains. So I was like, oh God, please let that, 
please let this last. So this this will um, this will be good. And I gotta keep this stuff off of my counters too. It stains my counters for a couple of days. So let's get to the next item. I've got lettuce here, some red leaf lettuce. These look nice. These are nice and like light and fluffy. So, you know, they haven't been like squished and stuff. So I've got two of those. These were $2 each. Now, the farmer's market is far away from my home, so I don't really go there much. And most of the time, they're a little more expensive than the grocery stores. But, you know, the little guy is up against so much um, with these conglomerates that buy stuff from farms in bulk. So, you know, you're probably gonna, going to end up paying a little more when you go to a farmer's market sometimes. In some areas, it's not like that. Some, for some people, farmer's markets in their areas are cheaper. Okay, this was really nice. I've got, oh, I'm glad this didn't spill either. I got a, uh, a na some native honey, some local honey. This was $6 for this container here. And I'm not really sure. I think that's probably maybe a little more expensive than what I would pay, but it, I was happy. Um, to get it, you know, supporting local local companies. I am a big, I'm big on honey. You know what I like to do with honey? I'm probably gonna do that actually as a snack when I go in the kitchen. I toast some bread and put like some butter on it that's already softened. And then I just smear a little bit of honey on it. Or if you remember from one of my videos, I did, I did toast with cream cheese and honey. And that's actually better. I might do that because I still have some cream cheese left. Okay, I have these lovely green beans right here. I call them string beans, um, but most people seem to just say green beans. So um, it's a this is a big pack. This was this was four dollars, but I think it's worth it. They're they're really nice and long. When I grew green beans, it was a variety. They kind of got like maybe like this long, but some of these are are pretty long. And the only thing I don't like about fresh green beans is that you have to kind of like snip the ends off. So that takes a little bit extra work, but the flavor of fresh green beans is just totally worth it. I also like to make a salad with green beans as well. Oh, these are, this, these are my favorite buy. Now these were a dollar each, okay? These were a dollar each. Actually, um, the larger tomatoes, guys, these tomatoes were $2 <laughs> each, but that's okay. These are heirloom tomatoes. So these are like, they have that sort of like that, I don't know if they call that, that octagon kind of shape in the front. And yeah, some of them have little bruises, little marks, so that's okay. Um, so these were actually marked down. These were originally, they said, were $3 each. So... Um, I'm not sure I would have spent three dollars on them, but uh, yeah, sometimes you just you, you just like I said pay more for farmers market stuff. So here's another tomato right here. Okay, I got more of these. There's another one, kind of interesting shape, right? And here. I got two more tomatoes. Some of these have those stems still on it. And um, yeah, these were these were two dollars each. They're or they, they said they're organic, so I'll pay more for organic. I'll pay more for organic. And then we have oh guys, this was my prize. These were my prizes, these big, beautiful onions. Do you know why? I've actually never seen large, really large yellow onions. The ones I find that are in the stores, the really large ones are either those white onions or the, the purple onions. And if I've seen yellow onions, I've never seen them with all like the skin on. So I think these are just beautiful and I almost don't even want to cut into them. I know you think I'm funny because I'm saying 
that the onions are beautiful, but they just seem like so perfect and so large. So um, what am I going to do with these? Maybe make a big thing of like roast vegetables and one in my speckled pan, my big speckled turkey pan, a bunch of onions, and I might even chop some of those tomatoes in there, some of the green beans. Mm, okay, I'm out of mushrooms, so I, could, I would love to put fresh mushrooms in it. A little bit of beef or something, or if it were up to me, maybe just all vegetables. My husband likes the beef. So, so I got these two as well, and yeah, guys, I like to go to a farmer's market at least a couple of times a year because I feel like it is supporting local businesses and it does cost a little more sometimes. Maybe some of you are lucky and it's cheaper, but not for me. <laughs> so um, I hope you liked that haul. I do want to mention that I do now have my merchandise store open that has my new logo on it. From the store I have sweatshirts up and I have a t-shirt up like a long sleeve t-shirt so it's stuff like for the fall and winter that you can wear it's uh, sweatshirts with um, a hood on it um, long sleeve t-shirt and I have a uh, like a notebook in there like a lined blank notebook I have a sort of like a bag it's um it's a carry bag I've got in there like a tote so you don't have to carry plastic around if you don't want. And I have, oh, I have mugs in there too. So if any of you happen to um, really enjoy what you see in the store and you buy something, if you buy it, take a picture of yourself either wearing it or holding in it, or holding it, and I'll put it in a video because, it, I don't know, it's a nice way to be interactive with you guys, okay? So um, I will see you again in the next video please tell me in the comments below uh, do you go to a farmer's market and what is your favorite purchase to make from there okay i'll talk to you again soon guys and i hope you have a wonderful day my stress levels are mostly back down from the uh, monetization demonetization incident so feel kind of better again thanks for all your support everyone really appreciate it Love you all. Hey, you know what? Can you help me put this stuff away? That would be really helpful.